हाय कैसे आप सब वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सैसविद विकास एंड एंड टुडे लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दिस ऑपरेटर टॉपिक द वन मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आल्सो यू कैन से इन द सैस लाइक दिस इज द टॉपिक वर्स वी हैव टू यूज विद द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट वॉट वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट लेसन द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट द फिल्टर स्टेटमेंट Uh, with the if and then conditional statement, we are uh, in the where conditional statement. So basically, we are dealing mostly in generally. Uh, we are dealing the operator with uh, where that is the filter conditional statement. So uh, let's understand what are the uh, types of operator in SAS and how we are going to use that. And after using that, what we are getting the result. So let's uh, run this and uh, understand all the thing like what the uh, how the Uh, operator operator taking role in the sas like how we are going to enhance influence the conditional statement or the filter conditional statement uh, by using this operator so there are many more types of the operator like you can see we are using this and or between in similarly uh, the less than the greater than the is equal to the contain the like there are many more operator is equal to not is equal to the, 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 these are the operator types so what are the types and how we are going to use that let's under, let's understand each and every con, uh, content or point of that operator so basically we are uh, using this con, uh, operator with the conditional statement or with the filter conditional statement that is the where conditional and uh, suppose let's take an example by uh, by with the help of this example let's understand the use of operator uh the data just because i want to create this data of data name exp2 and i'm using this set statement just because to call this class data set from the sas set library this is the the usual the same thing whatever we are dealing whatever we are doing till till now in the previous lecture also so the new thing is like the with the you with the filtered condition that is the where i'm using this operator so suppose we are interested for more than one variable or more than two variable if you are interested for that if you are interested to give the condition within that uh, within that uh, variable so that all thing possible with the help of this operator only once you are interested for the two variable or between the two variable or is equal to like the all the thing the whatever the operators we can use with the help of this conditional statement so i am using here with the conditional statement where i uh, am giving this age variable is equal to 14 and this is the operator where i am using here and sex is equal to f so what i am doing here i am interested for the both variable but the variable values are i am signifying like i i need that age is equal to 14 and sex is equal to female those who have the filter condition just give me the result so by running this uh, you can see that what are the what are we are getting the result so you can see we are getting the categorized with the first one that is the sex is equal to female and i have need that age equal to 14 only so once you are you are suppose earlier what we are doing uh, we are doing like that uh, once uh, we are dealing only this by this way where age equal to 14 so we are getting the detail like uh, with, we are not restricted for the sex we are getting the age is equal to 14 that is sex also contain the male and female but as of now if we are only interested with that if you are also interested with the sex is equal to female only then by using this operator by with the help of this operator we can get the result useful result that we can see from here so this is the major role of operator if you are interested for the uh, uh, the result as per the requirement once you have once the company or the sponsor say told you like i need this a uh, variable of that value and this variable of that value so that is also possible with the help of only operator so as per the requirement like if there is a requirement that i need that uh, within that both so that at uh, there we will use this and operator once the company or the sponsor told you like i need that uh, the filter of or either i need the age is equal to 14 or the sex is equal to f so we, if i am using this or operator the rest of data is same as we are using in the uh, previous data set so uh, the change is like we are, we are using the here or operator so uh, once we are using this operator with the same conditional condition of the variable i am using that 
so you can see and the comp we can also compare that uh, with the using the or variable or operator sorry or operator we are getting the result like this so either the age is equal to 14 or the sex is equal to female i need that once the age is equal to 14 then okay i need that was okay or the sex is equal to female i need that both that is the fulfill for that so by this way you can analyze that thing like uh, uh, age is equal to 14 we need that that is the important or sex is equal to female i need that whatever the age apart from that 14 age i need that all and apart from the female i need that all so that's that's the way i'm getting the result okay so similarly once the company or the sponsor interested for that in between that is and the uh, like in between any the variable whatever the values in in between so here that's why we are using the here between operator so the rest of data is same as we are using the with the last data set so the changes is like in between i'm using here the between operator and with the age variable i'm using the age between 14 and 15 so whatever the value in between age of that 14 and 15 we are getting we will get the result by using this operator so let's run this data set and you can see that like after running this data set we are getting the age is equal to 14 and 15 so whatever the variable values in between that we are getting the result so like that way like I, that is what we are doing as per the requirement from the sponsor once they are interested for that thing then we have to use that operator like that so as per the need we need to use that that kind of operator we can use and also or also between also in also so all the thing like uh, whatever what is the in operator now so as we are getting like is in once we have the more conditional action like we are dealing with the is in like that all uh, is suppose we are interested for that is is equal to 14 only till 14 only like more than one uh, or more than two action then we can use this in operator so the rest uh, we can see that the rest of data is same as we are using the last data set the major changes is like we are using this in operator so once you have the more than one condition action then you can use this in operator with that so let's run this data set and you can see that after running this data we are getting that like whatever the variable values of the within that values we are getting the result apart from the 14 you can see we are not getting the 15 or 16 where is variable values so these are the thing like this way we can make a filter we can enhance the condition of that thing so operation is you can uh, you can use that operation used as a catalyst of the conditional statement it makes work faster as per, uh, from the conditional statement conditional statement also have the limit like we can use that with the one variable or two variable like that way but with the help of this conditional uh, sorry operator we can enhance the conditional statement scope that that makes our work easier or faster as compared to the conditional statement. that's why we are using comp uh, operator so these are about the uh, logic uh, logical operator like whatever uh, sorry these are the arithmetic or logical operator and uh, there are many more like uh, less than is equal to as compared we are using in the mathematics uh, we can use that also when uh, where a weight less than is equal to uh, less than 90 weight uh, greater than 90 so let's run this data set and we can see that whatever the value within that less than 90 weight we are getting the result so whatever the value in the weight variable less than 90 uh, we are getting in that so these are about that the operator and uh, use of that uh, operator as per the requirement if you are interested for that greater than 90 value value of the weight variable so we are getting the result in that way also this is similarly for the less than is equal to so once you are interested for the inter greater than and less than and equal to of that one so whatever the data you can see that we are getting the exactly 90 value also so this is about the condition like uh, like this way you can use the operator whatever the value in the operator you can use that thing so this is about the operator like uh, once you have interest for the filter condition once you have to enhance the conditional statement like you are not interested for on the particular va variable value only once you have to deal with that more than one variable two variable or three variable then you can at the time you can use this operator enhance the conditional operate uh, conditional statement operation 
so there are apart from that like uh, and or in between and the greater than less than less than is equal to greater than is equal to is equal to not is equal to these are the common you can use by yon also you can use uh, with the same data set you can practice that all and you can see the re result and comparison that that we are getting the result as per the, our condition so the most two different or important you can say the operator is like in this like uh, like operator and contain operator so basically these are the thing we need to uh, understanding in today lecture also these are the thing uh, these are the operator like we need to discuss like once you are dealing with the contain like once we are dealing with the contain operator so whatever the variable value we are signifying like i need that contain so where name contain a once we are dealing with the contain a means that later that specific later should be in any of that name variable that will give of uh, that will give the result means it will show like it will go the name variable values capital a either on the starting of the name or in between that name it will give the result all in the output data that we know that this is the case sensitive so that later must be inside the data set that variable values at any position it will give the result Similarly, if you are specifying this small a, a small i, and the all thing, I, I'll teach you like all. I'll uh, I'll explain you all thing after running this. So you can see uh, we are getting like a result here. Once we are interested for the a, a later that that later must contain in the name variable. Either it should be at the starting position or in between the name. Like uh, let's run this program data set and see whatever the value like we are interested for the name variable and in that name variable we are interested for the a capital a values like a capital a later so whatever the variable values like that those who started with the capital a or in between that name in between means like a, a capital a should be at any position it will give the result similarly you can see once we using this contain operator with the small letter of a so we will get the result as per the requirement that letter must be at any position it will give the result that is the case sensitive that must that letter must be inside that variable or values it will give but at any position we are getting the result like you can see a small a, a at the second position fourth sixth, fifth position second position we are getting the result this is the uh, common priority of the contain operator like once we are giving any condition with the contain operator that letter or that word should be at any position not we are dealing with the word we are dealing with the only letter so that letter must be at any position we will get the result but the difference is like once you are using this uh, like operator so like operator is like uh, at that particular letter should be at the first position if that is not available they will not give you result suppose if you are interested for the a only capital a only so the, it will give the result if that letter is present at the top first position of that variable values then it will give result if that letter is present at the second position of that variable values third position fourth position it will not give result as we are getting in the contain so you can see that uh, once we are running this data sets with the use of this like operator so whatever the values is starting with that one here uh, we are not uh, interested for that one but uh, but uh, you can see and compare with that the understand that thing like whatever the value uh, later that later uh, present at the starting of that variable values then we will get the result at the same with the like operator whereas in the contain we will get if that later is present at any position okay so that is uh, the possible with the percentage we can use that a follow this sequence like after that a uh, there will be anything that will show the result you can use that thing in the same also contain that is the percentage used for the following the sequence like once after the a it will follow the thing and you can also use this after the a whatever the value end with the d like are, are, we can may, uh, give the last position of that word also so last last letter of that word 
So uh, let's run this data set. Sorry, I don't know why this. Okay. Uh, let's run this data set and you see that the, we are getting the result. Uh, those who have the starting with the A and end with the D. This is the that's uh, that's why we are using this percent symbol. So this is about that the operator you can use is not uh, is equal to operator to understand the thing whatever the is variable not is equal to 14 we are getting the result apart from the 14 we can get the result we can use that you can use write that uh, uh, operator in the in this way also not is equal to or for the is equal to you can use that uh, symbol like eq for not is equal to n e for is equal to eq so once you are not equal to the sex is equal to male only, then it will result uh, give the result as per the condition. So this is about the basic thing about the operator, like what are the operator, what are the types of operator, how we are going to use that operator. And apart from that, like and or in between greater than, less than, is equal to, less than, is equal to, not is equal to, all the thing that are the common operator whatever we are using with the any language or any condition uh, any conditional operator we can use that one we, we, we even we are using with the any kind of language in the c or c plus plus but here also the use of same but the major changes in the operator is like like operator and the contain operator uh, contain operator always read whatever the uh, we are getting giving the specific letter if that letter is at any position it will give the result like is used when that later is at the top or the first position then it will give the result so these are the uh, difference between that like and co contain operator let's uh, do this practice one or two times this is very uh, you can say the moderate topic uh, before this uh, before doing this way uh, this you need to uh, practice with the conditional statement first then you can use that with the help of this conditional statement and this is about today so, so do practice with this and uh, learn this uh, all the thing and practice all. If you have any doubt, just uh, ping me on that uh, comment section so that I can reach you also and explain the, all the thing, whatever you have curry. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.